Hey guys, Luke here, and I'm here to preview the 2015 NRL season, round two. And in this video, I'm going to be going over Sunday afternoon football, slash Sunday night, whatever it's, whatever it is, whatever you'd prefer to call it. I'm going to call it afternoon, because that's when the first game starts. Um, but we've got two games. We've got Rabbitohs taking on the Roosters, which should be an absolute cracker. Uh, a grand final potential um, clash, some might say. And then we've got the Raiders taking on the Warriors, which is probably not going to be a grand final um, showdown. But... Let's move on to the very first game, which is the Rabbitohs taking on the Roosters. Uh, let's go through the lineups of each side. We'll start with the Rabbitohs, as they're the home side. So we got Inglis, Johnston, Walker, Goodwin, Reddy, Cleary, Reynolds, Burgess, Luke, Tyrrell, Stewart, Sutton, Lowe. The bench is Griezmann, Clark, McQueen, Tom Burgess, Grant, McInnes, and Daryl Millard with three to be admitted, which presumably is going to be Grant, McInnes, and Millard. Moving on to the uh, Roosters side, we've got Tuvasa Shek, Tupo, Jen uh, Jennings, Ferguson, Kenny Dow, Maloney, Pierce, Hargreaves, McCurick, Moa, Corden, Guerra, Lou, and the bench is Orbison, Napa, Evans, Takahio, whatever his name is, and Kennedy and McDonald with two to be omitted. Now, I've just got to come out and say, like, both these sides were incredible, and credit to the Roosters because I didn't pick them. Uh, I was really expecting Cowboys to come out firing. Obviously, it didn't happen, but it was a lot due to the fact that Roosters were just so lethal in attack. They were so ruthless that game. Uh, it was quite incredible to watch. I thought Jake Friend would have been a huge loss, and he probably is, which is a little bit scary to other sides, but um, I just think they, they just gelled so well. I uh, suppose so they haven't really got too many people, like they haven't lost any people. At the same time, Rabbos have lost some key players, and they still looked pretty good, pretty darn good. Now, I've got to say the first half, and I, I mean, I suppose the whole, the whole game in general, Souths didn't look like real, like, they didn't look like they're playing at their best for a long part of the game. Look, like they were getting their job done before Broncos just turned to shit and stopped defending and Rabideau sort of turned it on um, in the second half. But for the first half, they were a little bit scratchy. Um, it was quite close. Um, I mean, I suppose in an alternate world, Broncos might have scored a try and changed the game, but it, it didn't happen. Obviously, talking about hypotheticals there. Um, but Rabideau is very, very impressive. Um... Dylan Walker had a good game. I'm not really sure about Reddy uh, and Bryson Goodwin. They were pretty so-so, eh, but I suppose they did the job. Um, Glenn Stewart, I keep hearing people saying he had like this really, really good game, and he was okay, but I think he left a lot to be desired. He should improve a lot. Um, but yeah, pretty pretty strong overall game. Reynolds was awesome. Kiri was pretty darn good as well. I'm not a huge fan of Kiri, but I just got to say he's, he's quite, quite talented. Doesn't really have too many shitty games, so... Good for Souths there. Roosters, on the other hand, not, yeah, they were just incredible. They did not put a foot wrong the whole game. Whereas, like, Souths were good for half a game. Roosters were, they were good the whole game. Like, it was incredible. Um, Tuvasa Shek played very well fullback. I'm very skeptical on him at fullback, but uh, for a first game, he did quite well. Uh, I think the real test is how they go when they're actually up against a pretty quality opposition because Cowboys were shit, let's be totally honest, last week. Um, and Rabideau should really push him. How Tuvasa Shek directs him in the fence and... Um, does that sort of stuff be interesting to see, but I, I just think his footwork is so effective, um, getting getting them out of trouble and all that. Uh, Four pack was quite was quite dominant to be honest with you. I was I was a little bit surprised at how how good Corden and Guerra were after losing Sunny Bill because I really thought Sunny Bill was the one that helped them look so good. The fact that I thought he'd be drawing in, he'd be the one who'd be creating the holes that Corden and Guerra were there, but um. Looks like it's just, just back to business as usual. I think Isaac Luke, uh, oh, sorry, not Luke, Isaac Lou for the Roosters was is pretty good. Uh, I think both benches are pretty are pretty solid. Um, I mean they're not spectacular, but you know they're they're pretty solid. Uh, quite young, but solid. Um, if I had to pick a winner, I'm just gonna say based off last week, I'm gonna go the Roosters just because they are up against the quality opposition and they made them look pathetic, whereas Rabbitohs were up against. I mean. No offense to Broncos, but I don't really expect them to be a top side. And while they pile on the points, I just think Roosters were a bit more impressive. And that, that, that's pretty much it. I mean, it, it could go either way for sure. I'm going to say 1-12 to 12 just to keep it safe. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's a flick, toss of the coin, really. Uh, moving on to the Raiders and the Warriors, which is probably not the most popular one. Probably a lot of people coming in to have a look at the Rabbitohs Roosters. But we'll go ahead and do this Raiders-Warriors one. We'll start off with the Raiders side. Also, it's that camera, so that should affect things. Uh, but... Raiders side is White and Wonga, Croker, Lee Rapana, Austin Cornish, Papali, Hodgson, Tils, Kennedy, Soliola, Phantom, and the bench is McCrone, Nuasala, Vaughan, and Bateman. The Warriors side is Tompkins, Jonathan Wright, Lola here, Carter, 
Fatavai, Townsend, Johnson, Lilliman, Lulawai, Madalino, Thompson, Hoffman, Mettering, and the bench is Fran, Henry, Lissoni, or Lissone, uh, VT, or Vetti, or whatever, and Orwood, with one to be admitted. Now, I'm not sure if, or- if Matt Orwood um, is, is looking at coming into the side, maybe for Jonathan Wright, or uh, I'm, I'm not sure what's happening. Maybe Sam Tonkin's still in a little bit of doubt, and um, Lola here would step into a fullback role who I actually thought had quite a good game. Supercoach also said he has quite a good game. So, good on Lola here, you little cheapy. Um, doing a good job there. Um, Warriors as a whole, though, not impressive to me at all. Um, they were away from home last week against the Knights. And they're away from home again this week. And this time it's at Canberra. Um, it's not a nighttime game at Canberra as well. So, probably not the best conditions for them. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't see it being a convincing win for the Warriors. I'm even I'm thinking of backing the Raiders, just based on the fact that Raiders played a pretty solid game last week. They um, like Sharks weren't great, like don't get me wrong, but I think Raiders they just they just played very hard and solid and um, a lot of effort there, which I think sometimes Warriors seem to lack that. I'm still not sold on Townsend and Johnson, even though Townsend might have had an okay game last week. Um, Jonathan Wright on the wing. Uh, I'm not really sure what's the O there. I'm not sure where the other wingers are. I know Fisia he's injured in that, but I'm sort of thinking like this is Jonathan Wright. He's played at the Bulldogs and he was, you know, he was pretty, he was okay at the Bulldogs, but uh, he just hasn't shown me anything to say that he should be playing wing in first grade unless you know he's done something for the coach, which I suppose he probably has. But uh, Thomas Sula at hooker, he was he was pretty solid. Um, I'm still not sure what's to go. Nathan front of the bench, not really a bench player. Um, Maybe it's just the fact that Lula can't play 80 minutes yet at hooker. Um, and they just sort of got friend just there. But, um, yeah, for the time being, Lula Y, just playing 60-odd minutes, whatever. Pretty solid. Just a great forward pack, the Warriors. Just a matter of them being able to control the ball and just really the halves take control of the game. Um, the Raiders, the same goes for them. They've got a pretty solid forward pack. Uh, Papali at prop. I'm not really a fan of Tills, but like solid goal offense and like they've got some pretty good forwards. Noah Sal on the bench, Vaughn, a great player. Um and their back line's actually pretty strong as well. Um not really sure on Andre Lee's center, but he seemed okay. Wonga on the wing, pretty good player. Rapana, another good player. Kroger, we all know he's quite good. And White in that fullback really impressed me. Um but it's really up to Austin and Cornish to take control of the game and get them home, to be honest with you. I think Hodgson will will be quite solid as well. If I had to pick a winner, I'm going to say Raiders 1 to 12. I just think Warriors will uh, not buckle under the pressure, but playing away from home, I just I just don't see it going very well for them. But a quick, uh, it's another one to flick of the coin for me. Uh, Warriors could come out and absolutely destroy them by 50. Like that's just Warriors are so weird. It's hard to get a read in them. Hard to say they're going to win for sure or if they're going to lose for sure. Same as last week, as I said, you know, like if Tompkins doesn't play, Knights probably win, which happened. Um, that's where I'm going to end the video, guys. If you want to follow me on Twitter and have a little bit of a chat with me about um, the footy and that, you can follow me at Mr. Luke on YT. Um, I've got a Facebook page in the description. Don't really use it too much, but it's there. Um, leave in the comments any of your predictions or anything you want to talk about. Um, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I'm nearly at 800. I could even be at the stage of um, this video is going up, but I have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you for my next video, which is Monday Night Football. See you then, guys. Bye.